Hi, my name is Daniel Walker. I'm the Hardware Product Manager for the Philips Dynalight Portfolio. And today we are extending on from our previous two videos to show a real application of the PDUVCC in action. Here we have our cabinet that we saw from the previous videos. But now that we have a working mock-up room using the Dynalight tester facilities, we're going to go through and show how the system is working with the third-party peripheral devices and how the authorised user will go through and use those to assure that it is safe to run these UVC lamps. As we saw before, we have our cabinet with our authorised key switch. Our third-party peripheral devices start from the outside of the room. We have a light warning that the UVC lamps are switched on. Taking a look inside the room, we have an emergency stop button that is intended so that anybody inside the room will be able to very quickly turn off the lights from pressing that. We have our first checkpoint button, this is one of four. When the system is in the arm position, this button will start glowing green to indicate that it is ready to receive uh, the checkpoint response. We have network sensors that is automatically monitoring the uh, room and seeing if there are any occupants within the space. And the doorways have read switches on them so that if anybody opens the door, it will immediately turn off those lights. We also have mounted above the door additional warning lights and a siren warning occupants that we're running the UVC cycle. Let's see the system in action. We're going to begin by the authorised user checking to make sure that the door is secured and now with their key switch they're going to take the cabinet from the off to the R position. The system has responded back that it is now armed and we're now ready to go through and check the waypoint buttons. The intention of the waypoint buttons is so that an authorised user will need to go deep into the space to verify that it is indeed unoccupied. We have four of these buttons and as we press them you'll see the light is extinguished confirming their press. And our last button. We have closed the door and assured that the area is now secure. We are still seeing that the network sensors are waiting to time out as this is just part of the safety procedure. Once those sensors have now timed out, we are seeing from the cabinet that it is now ready to run the UVC cycle. The authorised user can put their key switch back in and then once we turn to the start position, it is going to sound the alarm and then turn on those UVC lamps. We can hear the alarm now running and the lights are turning on. And these are the UVC lamps that we've put into the room to simulate them running into the site. Throughout the entire cycle, the sirens will keep alerting as it's important that if there are any occupants, they are aware that we are going through our UVC sterilisation cycle. At any time, if the conditions within the room change, such as a door opening or a network sensor, the system will automatically shut down the entire cycle. Straight away, the system has shut down and the Antumbra display is indicating what has gone wrong and why it had to abandon its cycle. We're also holding the status from the indicators. Additional safety features of the cabinet, and this is highly recommended that you do not go into the cabinet yourself, is that we are monitoring the activity happening inside. So that if somebody tries to open the cabinet and maliciously act uh, on the components, we are monitoring their activity. So if they try to press the actuator of the contactor down, it will sound off the alarm. And this is part of the safety systems, making sure that there is no way that we can be compromised. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this video.